one-handed knot. Okay, now it is on to the one-handed tie. There's no specific reason to use a one-handed tie over a two-handed one, although in situations in which a small amount of tension is to be kept on the knot throws, for instance in tying against resistance, a one-handed tie might be more appropriate. When tying one-handed knots, it is important to make sure that the strand in the active hand has enough length for manipulation, usually more than six inches. If it is shorter, you will encounter difficulty retrieving the loose end of the suture as it is brought through the loop. Let's get started. Place a silk suture around the hook. In order to place an initial flat throw, it will be easier to cross the strands before starting. In this case, the end to the active hand goes under the passive hand. For the first throw, you will use your middle two fingers as a post. Extend them and push your ring finger into the strand, pushing it medially. Wrap the other strand around the post, completing the loop. Now, bend your middle finger and grasp the free end of the strand in your active hand. Pull it through the loop. Now, use the index finger of your active hand to secure the throw against the post. It should come down flat. Let's look at this a little more closely. Take your middle two fingers, push them medially, create a loop, bring your middle finger down, grab the suture, pull it through the loop, and then use your index finger to bring it flat down against the hook. The second throw for a square knot is a bit trickier. To get started, hold the strands like the reins of a horse, but since you will be using your index finger as a post, you will have to hold the end between your thumb and middle finger. Move your index finger under the strand and push it outward. Your passive hand will lay the end around the inside of your index finger, which will complete the loop around the post. Bend the index finger towards yourself and place it under the free end. Flip the free end back through the loop. This requires some coordination between the fingers holding the end of the strand and the index finger to maintain tension and release the strand at the appropriate time. Once the free end is through the loop, it is re-grasped and the throw is brought down flat by rotating your hands slightly. Let's look at this one more time. Index finger is up into the strand. Create a loop. Bend your index finger and hook the strand. Push the free strand through the loop. Regrasp and bring the knot down. Now let's put it all together for the one-handed knot. Place the tie around a hook and cross the ends. Use your middle two fingers as a post and your index finger to bring the throw down securely. Now your index finger as a post. Rotate your hand slightly to bring it down flat. Your middle two fingers as a post. And your index finger as a post. In our next session, we are going to practice tying against resistance.